they talk about a field of dreams. This is now a field of reality for Northern Kentucky here. This is the ninth and final youth field renovation by Major League Baseball and the Reds. Minkin Field in Covington. Let's give you a closer look at it. And you can credit the Moats Group out of Newtown for the handsome finish. Fully synthetic turf. And the whole thrust behind this, of course, is to motivate more youth to play baseball. This restored American ball yard is home to Holmes and Holy Cross High School ball players. And who can say if a future Pete Rose might come out of here? And as much as the commissioner wanted the focus to be on this field today, he knew in this town the Pete question always comes up, especially after Rose told George Vogel over the weekend if he bumped into the commissioner, he'd thank him for letting him be on the field tomorrow night. We're uh, we're really glad to have Pete um, be with us and part of the ceremony tomorrow night. Um, obviously, he's an important part of the history of baseball here in Cincinnati, and I think it'll be a great thing for the fans. And that was really what was most important for us. What about the re renovation? Of I'm not going to get into timetable uh, on the process. The fact of the matter is, a date hasn't been set, um, and I'm not going to go beyond what I've said. That we're going to look at all the facts and circumstances, meet with Mr. Rose, and he'll get a decision. So the commissioner won't say when, but feel free to interpret those remarks however you choose. Major League Baseball and the Reds put $5 million each into these legacy fields. Actually, the Reds' number is more like $8 million when it's all said and done. About this field, Bob Castellini, the Reds' CEO, said what could apply to all of All-Star Week. He said this is really good stuff. Reporting live in Covington, John London, WWT News 5.